We've been doing this for, I think this is the 13th year, and uh, we're pretty much a, a, a sort of a down-home race, you know, sort of nothing, not a lot of bells and whistles, uh, very simple. Uh, we, we sing the Star Spangled Banner. We have a student from uh, the local uh, school system usually, and um, then we also ring the bell for the start. That's a nice touch, and I think the, the overriding factor is Robert's Food Center has uh, for 13 years donated blueberry pies. So the first two placers in all of our many categories, uh, we, we have like 30 pie winners every year and they go home very happy. Uh, so uh, that, that's been kind of a real draw for us. And, uh, and also we give trophies and medals. So I, I think it's just a lot of fun. Everybody enjoys it. I think uh, we went from like a stopwatch and handwritten finishers with about 50 runners uh, we've topped out uh, just about 200 runners in one of our best years, and we have uh, chip timing now. This year, I think we're close to 100 because of the the, uh, the weather, but uh, and and then some of the other competing races. But it's been a you know it's been a great run for uh, the Killing Rip Road Race. We really enjoy putting it on. We raise money for charities. Our, our key charities are, are the Shoreline Soup Kitchens. Uh, we do midnight runs to New Haven for the homeless, and we support uh, the Eddy Homeless Shelter in, in Cromwell, and just any of our general mission uh, budget, budgets here at the Congregational Church. That's the main purpose of the funds. That's where all the funds go to. It feels really nice to give to like different charities that you know really benefit the communities, especially local smaller towns that you know do a lot for the town. Um, it feels good to give back. This will probably be a lower year because of the weather and the turnout, but um, we normally raise like uh, three to four thousand dollars for the charities that the mission uh, committee here at uh, Congregational Church of Killingworth supports. Today was not one of our uh, higher days. It's actually like tropical rainstorm out there, so this is the first time that's happened to us. I couldn't imagine a worse day to be running, but it's such a fun race, such a good community, and such an amazing event. I think it's mostly draws Killingworth residents. I ran this race because I live in Killingworth, and I know these roads, and normally the races I do are pretty far away. I go to school in Wallingford, and it's really nice to just run on the roads that I know uh, in the community that I live in and uh, have a good time. I love running this race because it's been a tradition in our family to run this pretty much every year and it's just such a great community around here in Killingworth. And various local running clubs, the track teams do usually send some people. I want to run this race because it's kind of been um, on our cross country team at HK, it's kind of been a tradition to do it and it's also fun to run with all the people in the community. Like getting to run and you see someone you know on like the street, I think that's pretty cool. I ran this race because it's my first year in high school and training all summer with the team, my coach recommended it um, as it's good training and it's just a fun time and he was exactly right. This race is awesome. There's other, other folks that come out like the 169ers who want to run a race in every town in Connecticut. I like to run because it's a great way to get in shape, to lose weight. I like to meet people in the running community. I've done over you know, 100 races and they're by far the most supportive, kind and caring community. I think it's just a great way for people to see each other, congregate, uh, help out and enjoy, enjoy the normally good weather we have at this time of year. It's a great small race, goes to a local charity and it's, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully next year it doesn't rain.